Thanks for coming out to the farm. Uh, I'm Gord, and uh, this is my partner Alan, my husband, uh, moving from Calgary. Uh, we, before we lived in Vancouver, and then before that, Calgary. So, we've been wanting a farm and been looking for a lot of years for something. Uh, and we found this one last year after a lot of efforts. It's been a dream of ours to find a property that we can develop into something, and I think we finally found it. And uh, we bought a farm in Crestus. We bought a farm in Crestus. <laughs> now we have to figure out what the hell they're doing. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it would be my studio. You get married, you get a funeral okay. there, you <laughs> graduate. Time to do it now. <laughs> This place in particular, we've loved Creston for a few years. The climate is uh, oceanic. It's a kind of a microcosm little area. Orchards, but still fairly close to the prairies where our families are. Um, and it had lots of land. We have eight and a half acres, uh, a little farmhouse that looks like a large version of what I grew up in, I think. Could be a little distorted on that. Um, there's a couple of outbuildings, there's just lots of land. Alan is a horticultural artist, because I do design, he's also a painter artist, a fine artist, but we will have other subsidiary things, but ultimately it's just a big plan for him. One of the things that we really loved about this property is that it actually has some of the old outbuildings. 1960 farmhouse, uh, the building up here is one of my favorites. Uh, another farmhouse originally was It has rose gardens and peonies and everything around it. It's just been overgrown. But it's, um, it's what I want to develop into my studio. There's lots of junk in this building. Um, the people who cleaned out the old property didn't want to enter it. Uh, it was pretty stable, but I mean, obviously, we wouldn't play around in that old junk. Um, but it's a lot of old junk. Even this table and those racks and that smoker bar barrel thing was already here. There's a bunch of junk that has to go. It's a bunch of junk from various decades. So. Uh, I'm hoping that we can birch. <laughs> and, and hoping we can salvage the shell and lift it. And if not, then we'll have to take all of the exterior boarding off and just reproduce with maintaining size openings and uh, putting the back the board back on. Because I think the board is actually one of the things that when I first saw the ad for this place, I fell in love with this building. And I knew it would be my studio. I knew it would be my studio. Whoa. We're gonna call this studio all, <laughs> and it can be a uh, studio for sculpture or painting or whatever we need to do for these gardens. Saskatchewan where you have a wedding and they usually have a stage and a dance floor 
get married, you get a funeral okay. there, <laughs> you graduate there. Uh, our, uh, drama. Drama. <laughs> uh, everything happens there, except, yeah. except for what happens in the curling rink or the laundry <laughs> Everything else happens there. found it. it's in the back of the door in here and it's I'm assuming from the original owners because these are the names of all of the different fruit and nut trees that they have in that front orchard part right there and it's really cool they're all punched into this metal and then you cut that out and you attach it to your trees you always know when it is yeah but it does go through everything whether the Andrew pear Bartlett's uh, Thompson grape found grape Bath grain. beginning of the project so we've given you sort of a layout of the land part of it there's more to come uh, hopefully you'll you've enjoyed the video and you'll see the next phase which will be the first phase which will be the house um, thank you for watching remember to like share and subscribe <laughs> <laughs> so natural <laughs> and leave comments. Nice ones or bye. <laughs> <laughs>